Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. 10 rounds among heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Muhammad Ali is making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. Butterbean's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. In the middle corner, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali! His entrance in the professional record, 77 wins, with 58 knockouts and 8 defeats, coming out of Bay City, Eric Bobby! Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Little get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. Combination to the head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Teddy, early on in a fight, I will often turn to you and ask you what's the one thing we should look for out of this fighter. But in his case, I think it's pretty obvious, right? It's the jab. Yeah, more importantly, it's obvious to him. He understands that. You know, he understands he's not real strong in other areas. So he understands he has to be really good in this area. And now they're trading blows. Matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy, a power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, it's not just power, it's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. No better way to sap somebody's endurance, mentally and physically, than going downstairs. Good smooth work by Muhammad Ali. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Ali's right hand scores well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, what a hook upstairs. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Muhammad Ali. Now he's boxing in his man a bit there. He's got him trapped in the corner. Final 10 seconds. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. And the round comes to an end. Ali's approach here is to score from the outside at long range, Teddy, and he's been headhunting and cashing in. Well, he sees that his opponent is coming in the same way all the time, so he's picking him up, pot shot him a little bit before he gets close. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Ali's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And now he's targeting upstairs. Crashes home with the uppercut. Comes right back with a shot of his own. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway through round number two. That is.
gives a strong uppercut there. How about that hook by Muhammad Ali? Good return fire that time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Ali's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Ali's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Wow, what an uppercut. Butterbean's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Ali with a big left. Butterbean's blocking ability is doing well for him there. And that's the end of round two. Ali's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow! He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. There you go. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to dismiss that body shot. Butterbean's able to land a good, solid left hand. Not able to land the uppercut. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Butterbean scoring with that right hand. Carries that punch away. Ali's right hand scores well that time. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Butterbean's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Ten seconds to go in this round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. You have to keep it. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. One bomb fire, let it burn higher. I never show signs of fatigue, but turn tired. Cause I'm the definition of tragedy. Turn trying. It's David and Goliath. I made it to the eye of the storm. Okay, listen. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose the war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Butterbean's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy... Any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Over the top 
very accurate with it. Butterbean's showing that he's got some big, big shot he just scored with. Did he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Another opponent, a knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winners, the Grand Muhammad Ali's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights. I'm not the same, say I change, but I can leave the game. Now I'm right.